Hi there, Halu here. February 12th was a chill day. My girlfriend and I ended up at the mall because we had reservations to Nobu Malibu and she needed a new outfit. My family ended up coming too and we had Din Tai Fung for lunch. For appetizers, we had seaweed and bean curd salad and a soy noodle salad. Some string beans with garlic. And for our entrees, of course, we had to have the crab and pork shaolong baos. Fried pork chop fried rice. And spicy wontons. Despite being full, I promised her that we would satisfy her cravings and get potato corner. We chilled for a bit, then we were off to Malibu. Our reservation was for 6pm, just in time to watch the sunset. She had always wanted to try Nobu, so this was considered our Valentine's Day dinner. For drinks, I had a mango and peach iced tea, which is exactly what you'd imagine, light and aromatic. She got the lychee passion mocktail, which to be honest, is worth coming back for. Fruity and flavorful, but not too sweet. We ordered a variety of entrees? Dishes? I'm not so sure what to call them. Items, so that we could try a bunch of things. First we had the yellowtail jalapeno. This was definitely one of the top tastes of the night. Yeah. Next we had the Thai sweet shisho with crispy shiitake. We don't know what shisho is, but we both like mushrooms, so this was pretty good too. It's like oranges from my mom's tree. What? <laughs> oranges? Then we ordered the rock shrimp tempura with cream spicy sauce. Honestly, my dad's walnut shrimp is better than this. I got some roasted cauliflower, which I killed all by myself. I had to get my nutrients in. Lastly, we got the squid pasta, which isn't actual noodle, but just squid cut up to look like pasta. This was also just okay. After all, we were still a little hungry, so we got some finger food, a spicy tuna hand roll, and sweet shrimp sashimi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really? Good. The shrimp was nostalgic for us because we tried something similar at Niku X before, just not as buttery. You found it. For dessert, we stopped by Salt and Straw and got a honey lavender waffle bowl. I'm such a sucker for lavender. On February 13th, Tuesday morning, we arrived at LAX at 6 a.m. to catch our 8 a.m. flight to Honolulu. Of course, once we checked in our bags, we had to make sure the Aquaphor was on us. <laughs> Aquaphor. Most needed thing out of all of our essentials. Can't survive without Aquaphor. For some reason on the flight, they kept saying Maui. Are we going to Maui? I thought we were going to Honolulu. And if you want to watch me, go. <sighs> My birthday was the next day, and the flight attendants actually came by and sang to me, giving me some small gifts. Once we landed, we headed for the carousel. How's your flight? Good, we slept a good amount. We did some games. And uh, now we're here.
here. Not too bad. That one, the gray one above the purple one. But mistakenly, we took the wrong luggage. You made me stole someone's luggage. Why? That one's yours. That one's yours. <laughs> what is that? Eventually, the correct one came. It looks the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> the car rental with Avis was pretty easy. Being an Avis member, we just reached the parking lot and our car was ready for us. Kinda looks like a Rogue. Nissan Rogue. No visible scratches. There's a little ding on the license plate there. We landed on a beautiful day with cloudy skies and sunshine. It was a little scary driving in a new place, but I eventually got used to it. Driving to our hotel was a breeze. Everything is so close by in Waikiki. I decided to be as cheap as I can and save costs wherever I could. So beforehand, I looked up free locations to park. Nearby the Honolulu Zoo is a street that's free parking 24 seven. Definitely saved us some money from the hotel's $50 a night parking fee. The view from our room wasn't what I expected, but beautiful nonetheless. Wow, what does this smell like? Our first stop was the ABC store within our hotel. If you've ever been to Hawaii, you'd know they're everywhere. I was searching for a very specific Hawaiian sun, the green tea with ginseng and lychee flavor. There was none in sight. No green tea lychee. Oh. Baby chicken. Baby chicken. After a very long morning, we were starving. We stopped by Misubi Iyasume for some onigiri and Spam Misubi to go. The store was full of cute Spam Misubi and onigiri collectibles, perfect for any lovers of the easy on the go snacks. We headed out to Waikiki Beach to find a place to sit and enjoy our snacks. I got a Spam Misubi with bacon and egg. There's no But it's seaweed. huge. Oh. Oh yeah, huh? There's no seaweed. Is it Misubi if there's no seaweed? Or is it just Spam? <laughs> yeah. They wrapped it so well. It's like bacon. <laughs> That's your seaweed. Double bacon, double bacon. Yummy? Looks like a breakfast rice sandwich. <laughs> After that, we had some time to kill before the luau later that night, so we went for a stroll down Calicoa Avenue. I stopped by another ABC store to see if they had the drink I wanted, but once again, no luck. We also saw a Lawson's, which made me very happy because I miss being in Japan. I started to notice that Hawaii was a lot like Japan. There wasn't anything too unique inside, but it was cool to check out. Then we stumbled upon the International Marketplace. I don't know if these trees are real, but it's super sick. I tried finding the drink inside Mitsua Marketplace because perhaps it's an import. Where's the lychee? But once again, no luck. Got some goodies. Oh, mine. 
I used to drink this every day in Japan. And I could never find this brand. But this oh, really? Is exact it. There's other ones like it, but not, not like this. One. Yes. Vitamin C. It's the only form of vitamin C I'll ever drink. All in all, pretty cool place. We finished up and headed back to our hotel to get ready for the night. Our luau of choice was Germaine's luau. When we were planning this trip, we spent an hour looking at just different luau's. We wanted to be by the beach with our feet in the sand because isn't that how a luau is supposed to be? Drink again. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. <laughs> The food was pretty good, featuring some Kahlua pork, barbecue chicken, fried fish, salad, and mac salad. It was a buffet, so it was all you can eat, even though I was done after two plates. All the performances were great, giving us a taste of Hawaiian culture. But of course, we were all waiting for the main show, the fire dancing. concludes our first day in Hawaii. On Wednesday, February 14th, 2024, I turned 29 years old. Yep, you heard that right. Another year older and still wondering where all the time went. But hey, what better way to celebrate than embarking on an early morning escapade to catch a glimpse of majestic whales. Good morning, it is February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. My birthday. <laughs> What are we doing? Where are we going? Milwaukee. We're gonna okay. go look at some bales, flip their fin up in the air, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out the Star of Honolulu tour. If they don't show, do we get our money? Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> refund guarantee. If we don't see any whales, we're demanding our money back. <laughs> Better give it back. Bright and early, at the crack of dawn, we boarded the star of Honolulu cruise ship. With excitement buzzing in the air, we set sail on our quest to find these gentle giants of the ocean. We are on a boat. That's a big cookie you got there. Is it hard? It looks really hard. Hard and chewy. Hard and chewy. It's good. Ow, my teeth hurt. And guess what? We struck gold. Ah! Oh, look. <laughs> Witnessing those magnificent creatures gracefully swimming in their natural habitat was a birthday gift like no other. Now on to the culinary adventures. Ever heard of Giovanni's shrimp? Let me tell you, it's a garlic lover's paradise nestled inside the Kakaako H Mart. Succulent shrimp dripping in garlicky goodness. It was a flavor explosion that left us craving for more. This is the garlic glizzy. I'm about to stuff in my mouth. <laughs> That's a big bite. Yummy. Yeah, it's pretty much a hot, nice hot dog. With some garlic. Ah. 
We're good now. But wait, the food journey doesn't end there. We made a pit stop at Dole Plantation because, well, who can resist the temptation of indulging in some mouth-watering Dole Whip? And of course, I couldn't resist trying the infamous Dole Whip float. Pure tropical bliss in every sip. Next up, we found ourselves at Green World Coffee Farm, ready to fill up with some caffeine goodness. But let me tell you, things got a bit quirky with the cashier. Nevertheless, I managed to snag some aromatic coffee beans for the fam, including the heavenly blueberry strudel and macadamia nut blends. We then decided to explore further in North Shore. Our mission? To hunt down the legendary Rise Pokey Shack. However, it was a no-go, but fear not. We stumbled upon Kahuku Superette and discovered the best pokey of our trip, ahi tuna paired with a side of fluffy rice. Good? Wow. It has a mouthful of flavor. Oh yeah? It's like jello. Mm. That sauce is crazy. Since the show you ahi poke. Mm. I I've had poke, but I'm not. I don't eat it often. Now, what's a Hawaiian adventure without a little beach time, right? We headed to Turtle Beach in hopes of spotting some sea turtles. While luck wasn't on our side, the breathtaking scenery made up for it. But hey, who needs luck when you got determination? Our quest led us to Laniakea Beach, and there they were. Majestic sea turtles basking in the sun. Oh, and my girlfriend too, making it a perfect ending to our day. We ended our night with some dinner from Ginza Byron. We heard this place was known for its tonkatsu and had to try it. Unfortunately, they were booked for the night, but luckily for us, we were able to order takeout. While we waited, you'd know we had to check ABC store one more time for the drink. I'm beginning to think it doesn't exist anymore. There's Lilikoi Loi Lichi. We tried their pork cutlet, chicken cutlet, and got an appetizer of crab cream croquettes. We took it back to the hotel and enjoyed a nice peaceful dinner in our PJs. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video where we continue our Hawaii adventures. Halu at you later.